Hi, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is Jeremy McCullough. I'm here at Ski PHP with uh, Adam Culp and Wim Gooden. Gooden, maybe not been pronouncing that right. Uh, he's from Europe. Um, we're here to taste test some more Pringles flavors. Uh, apparently, uh, unknown to me, I just learned this this week, uh, Salt Lake City area is a hotbed of Pringles, Pringles flavors. There's stuff I haven't even seen before. Uh, what we've got here is some wasabi and soy sauce oh flavor. This is, this is maybe intense. Um, uh, some classic salt and vinegar was going to be the fallback. We know that tastes good. That's my personal favorite. Uh, we have here some mango salad. So this is an exclusive flavor, which I believe is exclusive to perhaps all other food products. There's no other mango salsa out there. Uh, and then we have chili cheese. And you'll actually notice this is a bit of a shorter can, but it weighs more. So there's some physics involved there. We might have a lesson later. Um, but Adam, what would you like to start with today? Let's start with the wasabi. Let's go. Let's start with the right wasabi. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dive right in here. Uh, so we're gonna get that. Let's let's zoom in and get that pop. Just to know these are fresh. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Okay. So let's just first. We're just gonna do a smell on this. That is. Um, it's yeah. It's it's palpable. It's mm. uh, it's that's not a flavor I've experienced on a chip before. Yeah. Certainly not a smell. Uh, so feel free to take one. Let's get some. Uh, we'll get some tasting notes here. It's got the this green is, going on. It has got a, a little tinge of green. Um, yeah, just on the outside. Kind of make what you find on like wasabi peas. Mm. A little love for the cameraman? Mm. Oh yeah, the cameraman. Yuri Rusko is on the camera. Excellent videography this weekend. Mm. Uh, it's actually quite subtle. It's not, the wasabi mm -hmm. is not as overpowering as like when you get wasabi coated peas. It's not the hot. It's no. actually bringing in the sweetness of the wasabi, which is, mm -hmm. which is odd, but very good. And I say that the soy sauce is a tinge of that that soy flavor. Oh wait, I'm catching yeah. a little bit of the a little bit of the spice now, so yeah. it's catching up. Okay, that's definitely. I I'd recommend these. Just yes, no, definitely. No problem there. Yeah. All right, let's go with the mango salsa here. I'll kick it up a notch. Um, Salt Lake City also a great place for Mexican food. Um, there's Red Iguana, Lone Star Taqueria, excellent places. Uh, the mole, uh, what is it? The uh, the Amarillo mole uh, at, uh, at Red Iguana. Amarillo, yeah. Uh, Stuff here. Sorry. Uh, so mango salsa. It's got a little picture of a little mango holding a dipping a chip or something in there. That's that's adorable. Hmm. That's uh has a, a bit of a spice to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's yeah. a, a bit of habanero. Wow. Let's see if there's any mango peppers, red bell pepper, pow, um, onion powder. Can't tell what kind of peppers. Oh, jalapeno pepper powder. Hmm. Okay. Um, just pass these around. Uh, definitely a little bit of a. An orange mango there. Some love for the cameraman. Some preemptive love for the cameraman. Here you go. You can smell the jalapeno. Yeah. It's actually it seems a it smells a bit spicier than the wasabi. Oh, it is mm. spicy. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Mm. The sweetness immediately mm -hmm. is right yeah. there mm. at you. Yeah. It's just there to greet you as soon as it lands on your tongue. Mmm. I like that. That is very pleasant as well. So so far we're two for two here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's go down for the uh, Pringles. So I've actually never had Pringles tortillas. Have any of you guys had Pringles tortillas? No, I have not. <laughs> I've only had the, the potato processed variety. So let's, um, and so these are 6.42 ounces of tortilla crisps. That corn, corn is heavy. Corn is heavier. Corn is heavier than potatoes. Yeah. Ooh. So it's a bit of a defect pot. here. The, uh, the, the lid doesn't really open the same. Maybe that's because it's a bit shorter. The, they have to work on their packaging here. So these are interesting. Very um, much of a tighter crisp here. This is, um, these are much shorter. Let's actually just get a comparison here. These are for the cameraman. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> for the cameraman. Uh, this is definitely a much smaller of a chip here. Um, mm -hmm. Flavor notes: it smells like smells like chili, kind of like Fritos. Look at the texture on that thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. cool. Very interesting that we were able to get corn to stay together like this. It's not as a forgiving a vegetable as potato. Um, not bad. It's a bit of I think it's a bit of a ho hum flavor though. I've, I've definitely had this before in potato chips. It's cheesy. It's a little cheesy, yeah. yeah. The chili, the chili is. Um, it, it's mild chili, but uh, mostly the cheese. The cheese is just hanging out on top, though. It's not really incorporated into the chip as much as in the other. Mm. That is true. Yeah, this is kind of maybe maybe that's a quality of the corn. The corn is not mm -hmm. absorbent a um, uh, vegetable. Uh, and let's go um, do the plastic. Uh, my personal favorite here, the uh, salt and vinegar. It's so good. We actually bought two cans of these because uh, we're bringing one back to the hotel tonight. Salt and vinegar oh. is always a win. Yeah, just get a whiff of that. That is just, that's oh, just yeah. the nostalgia of the salt. Some love for the cameraman. <laughs> oh, yes. That is just a good whiff. And you yeah. feel free to take one as well. Oh, yes. Thank you. So, I mean, these really need no introduction. I would say this is the, this is the flavor that puts Pringles on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, probably my favorite rendition of salt and vinegar chips, aside from maybe the Cape Cod or the Kettle Cook salt and vinegar. Um, really always a strong flavor. Hmm. I feel like this really embodies the once you pop, you can't stop. Mm -hmm. uh, philosophy. Wow. This this flavor is really addicting. It really just lures, just lures you in, and pulls you in. 
It's certainly going into the hotel, yeah. but it's not leaving the hotel. No, these will not be <laughs> making it back onto the plane as we go back. Go yeah, back east. I'll have another one of these. Mm -hmm. Help yourself. Yeah, we've got plenty. Um, so thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for Steve Myers putting on a hell of a show uh, this weekend at SkiPHP. Uh, certainly hope it's not the last one. We can uh, come back here, if not for SkiPHP, or at least another open west. Uh, thanks, Wim and Adam, for joining me, and Yuri Rusko on camera and videography. Cheers. Cheers.